In the mid-1960s, Ampex Corporation built a unique system for NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center. Utilizing components of a videotape storage and retrieval system originally developed for NASA, it developed technology that offered considerable advantages over microfilm for filing, storing, retrieving, and distributing large volumes of information. This became the first application of professional broadcast technology to computerized record keeping. After completing the NASA system, Ampex continued to improve the technology, eventually resulting in the Ampex Video File Information System. The following film from 1969 shows how the Video File Information System could be used to improve productivity and facilitate handling large volume information storage and retrieval. Business tools change, improve dynamically with the emergence of any new technology. Now, with the electronic age, routine and repetitive work has come alive, taken on vitality, is reaching for higher efficiency, and management's need for up-to-the-minute operational information comes nearer to being satisfied. Yet, in even the most modern organizations, one vital activity has resisted change remained archaic until now. Electronics is finally changing the slow, cumbersome, frequently frustrating procedures of day-to-day -day filing and retrieval of documents. But it did not happen suddenly. The remarkable experiments of Mars in 1834 and the unsuccessful efforts of Field. The story has its roots buried in the beginnings of recorded sound. The sound reproduced by Edison's acoustic horn was certainly astounding for its day, but we've come a long way since then. And each development along the way proved a further refinement of recording and reproducing devices. the listener constantly benefiting. But the giant step forward came with the development of magnetic recording on tape. Decision in Ottawa affecting the movement of ore concentrates. Delaware Steel also strengthened with the announced expansion of its Bridgeport facility. Delaware closed up... The new medium brought many advantages, but the most dramatic were greatly improved sound quality, immediate playback of the recorded sound for on-the-spot evaluation, and the ability to edit erase, and reuse the magnetic tape. Magnetic recording reached its first plateau of development in Germany during the Second World War. After the war, a dynamic young U.S. company, the Ampex Corporation, pioneered independently to further refine the arts of magnetic recording. Its initial efforts produced the first professional quality magnetic sound recorder, the Model 200. Introduced in 1947, the new recording medium's greatly improved sound fidelity revolutionized radio broadcasting methods. But this was only the first of many applications for magnetic tape recording to be developed by Ampex. Among these was the versatile instrumentation recorder, a tool which rapidly became essential in industrial and scientific research, in medicine, defense, and space exploration and digital magnetic memory devices for computers and other data processing systems. In 1956, Ampex introduced the most dramatic development in magnetic recording technology, the videotape recorder, a system which completely changed, totally revitalized television broadcasting methods. The videotape recorder permits recording television pictures with vastly improved quality, and most significantly, the tape can be replayed immediately without photographic processing. Further refinement and development of the videotape recorder by Ampex soon brought another dramatic advancement, electronic frame-by-frame -frame editing, which gave television magnetic recording production flexibility superior even to film. 
Although immediate application of this electronic editing was for television recording, it was the final technique Ampex needed to bring electronics to the vital business activity of document filing and retrieval. Now, Ampex makes another major contribution to modern business methods. The Video File Information System, a unique logical answer to the paperwork blizzard growing everywhere in business, in industry, in government. The number of people crowding the earth has increased enormously during the last century and the rate of increase continues to mount. Out of this population explosion, new demands have developed. New markets, new means of communication, the need for improved means of accounting. Computers met the automation needs of data processing and gave it a space age vitality. But no great progress has been made in automating active document filing systems. Document handling remains cumbersome, slow, inefficient, while the volume of documents continues to increase to overwhelm manual systems. Photographic microforms have reduced the floor space requirements of archival or permanent storage files. And they have provided a degree of automation in a number of low activity file storage and retrieval systems. However, after some 40 years of extensive use, these photographic microforms have not allowed business to automate large volume, dynamic document files. They could not furnish the speed or flexibility such systems need. The digital memories of computers are not the answer either. An impractical amount of expensive memory storage capacity would be required to store the contents of documents in coded digital format. Nor do computers permit storage of actual document images, precise facsimiles with signatures, handwritten notations, pictures, or intricate design drawings. Digital memories store facts, figures, and other abstracted information for the computer's own programming, reference, and processing. So the paper blizzard continues, apparently unabated, apparently uncontrolled. Now, Ampex has developed a solution to the problem, the Video File Information System, a totally automated electronic system having its roots in Ampex-developed television tape recording and computer memory technologies, a system with high-density storage, drastic space reduction, high speed, and complete flexibility needed for large active document files. The video file system reduces cumbersome document files to recorded images on magnetic videotape. At the touch of a button, any document can be electronically filed, recalled, replaced, deleted, or relocated. The document images are viewed on a television screen or obtained as hard copy printouts. The video file system is attractive, functional, and its operation is so simple, anyone can use it. In filing, an exact image of the original document is recorded, not a digital coded translation. File organization is just as flexible as any conventional file. Documents may be filed according to subject, with related documents filed together on the tape. Or filing can be arranged in an alphabetical, numerical, or chronological order in whatever way an organization keeps its records. Each file document can easily be updated without disturbing adjacent documents. After addressing, individual document images are recorded at the appropriate open segment of the magnetic tape, or in what can be referred to as a magnetic file folder. The recorded document image is immediately available to any inquirer. There is no delay for processing. The entire filing operation is as quick and as simple as that. A single 14-inch video file reel, two inches wide, will hold as many as 250,000 pages, the contents of 20 standard filing cabinets. 
video file retrieval consoles can be located in various departments or at other remote points away from the central file, even in your own office. Or the retrieval consoles may be located in a central file room. Requests for documents can be made by telephone, by a written procedure, or in person. The address of a document, or of a complete file, or of combinations of both, are keyed into the system. The electronic command is received at the master file station, and the appropriate videotape unit rapidly searches its reel of tape for the designated address. The selected document image, or series of images, is then automatically copied electronically into a temporary storage unit called a buffer. The original document image remains in the master file, immediately available to answer requests from other stations, while the duplicate image in the buffer can be viewed at length on the retrieval console or a series of selected documents can be browsed. In many cases, a printer tied into the system provides hard copies of selected documents, again, at the mere touch of a button. The entire operation is rapid, silent, accurate. There are no files to pull or refile. There is no chance of misfiling. Since no file is ever out, the master file remains intact, complete. And the file is brought to the individual, not the individual to the file. Savings accrue in time, space, and cost. Nearly any filing system that has frequent access to a large volume of documents can benefit from the video file information system. Already, systems have been ordered by one of the world's largest railroads to speed the handling of freight waybills, by a government agency to increase efficiency of a technical library, by a large communications firm to expedite filing and retrieval of engineering and maintenance documents, by a large insurance company to automate the handling of policy files, and by other government agencies and commercial organizations for a variety of applications. This large video file system is at the Southern Pacific Railroad headquarters in San Francisco, where it is automating the handling of waybill and abstract files. Up to 20 million documents can be stored in this particular system. As new documents are received each day, they are distributed to the six filing sections for indexing and recording. In an average day, 20,000 new incoming documents will be entered. All must be maintained in the file for periods up to four years. To retrieve documents in the Southern Pacific system, the waybill identification numbers are checked on MarkSense data processing cards. Although documents can also be requested by directly keying in their address. Requests for information from the file will average 100,000 a month. All requested documents are printed out on a facsimile printer with the requestor's code address. Display monitors are not required in the Southern Pacific system for display of retrieved documents. However, they are used at each filing section to verify the filing operation. The electronic system occupies only about one-eighth the space of the former manual filing operation. In scope, the video file information system is very similar to a computer. Its evaluation must be made by specialists. They must explore the true cost of an organization's present manual filing system by uncovering the hidden expenses, such as the cost to an organization for slow accessibility to filed current information or to information on documents that are waiting to be filed. Their evaluation of the benefits of an automated information system should consider the direct cost savings as well as other significant efficiencies that may accrue. If your organization would like to pursue the possibilities of a video file information system, Ampex system analysts are available to work with you in determining your needs. They will recommend the optimum mix of the basic modular building blocks that make up a video file system to bring the kind of efficiencies and rapid information flow required by your specific organization. The Ampex video file information system 
gives you electronic filing and retrieval at automated push-button control. It fits into a single room, yet stores millions of documents. It solves the time, space, and cost factor for large, heavily used document files. Its electronic automation of active document storage and retrieval brings this vital area to its rightful place alongside the computer, within the framework of a totally automated information system. From Ampex, the world's largest and most advanced manufacturer of magnetic tape recorders and related equipment, with operations throughout the free world. From Ampex comes the electronic answer to document storage and retrieval needs of modern business. The video file information system.